at 8 p.m. tonight, we are flying to Doha and then on to San Francisco. But first, we got a layover in Doha. This is traveling during COVID. It's like we're in our own bedroom. I've never sat in a seat on an airplane that's not facing takeoff. This feels really strange. If there's an opportunity to shower at the airport, it will be done. So we, meaning my dad and I, are flying Cutter Business Class. This lounge is a four-part lounge. It is the largest lounge in Hamad International. This is the largest business lounge I've ever seen. This whole sitting area right here is really like the fancy, working, quiet area. It's got a kind of dimly lit, moody, natural setting. There's this fountain pool, and it's just enormous. You could run miles back and forth in this entire space. So this whole area is a working and waiting area, but upstairs, that is where all the action is. So this is where all the food is, the larger meals that is. It's like a restaurant, so you get seated and served, but you also have the choice of going up and grabbing food from the buffets. You really have any type of service here that you want. You can even view the menu by scanning the QR code with your camera here. And since it's Christmas, they have a holidays menu. Oh, that's so cute. So you can order a la carte. It is all buffet style. Yes, buffets still exist in the middle of a pandemic, except it just exists from the other side of the glass. So the way it works now at a buffet is you just tell the server what you would like and but from behind the glass, they put it on the plate for you or they're gonna hand you all of the little a la carte pieces. I highly recommend if you ever get the chance to visit this lounge, definitely grab some of the hummus. And I mean, you can't go wrong with the feta cheeses. This restaurant is a little smaller. I mean, it's still gigantic, but they serve lighter food, some refreshments, sandwiches, snacks, and it is on the complete opposite side of the other main restaurant. Ready to board? This is flying in the age of coronavirus. Can you help me put this on? Yeah, hold on. All right, ready to go. Quite the empty flight back to San Francisco. If you plan to sleep during the flight, please keep your seatbelt fastened and visible to cabin crew. This is so unusual to be sitting on the side of the plane that's facing the back. So in takeoff, instead of leaning back, I'm kind of leaning over my feet. Check out how this button works. Touch screen buttons right here. And it it is inside the window. I can't touch that. And one more layer goes all black. Very cool. So I'm learning about all the secret spaces in my little pod here. Under my seat 
We've got my water bottle and noise canceling headphones. We've also got some jammies and we get to order from the menu whenever we want. A la carte, anything, everything. How are you feeling, Dad? I'm enjoying my champagne in preparation for uh, some hors d'oeuvres, main course. It's gonna be 15 hours of Bacchanal. <laughs> The light adapted for the whistle to attract attention and the lights that will automatically illuminate when in water. Infant life jackets will be distributed by cabin crew. Rob, you better run the floor while I get this rock you know. To help with final preparations. We got a lot of silverware we're working with today. I'm not exactly sure how uh, how to use all of this and in what order. But what I've learned from the movies is that you start on the outside and you work your way in. So this is one of the coolest aspects of this whole suite, this whole situation here. We are being served our food right now and we are going to have a little lunch slash dinner party. have a dinner party slash lunch party with our friend because this whole panel opens up and you can't see it but they're also enjoying their food. chai tea. So what's really special about the Q Suites on Qatar Airways is the full lie-in double bed setup. We have a fully lie-in flat double bed. <laughs> 